The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Hi. Hello, dear. Well, hello, sweetheart. How are you? Fine, just fine. Oh, close the door, honey. Oh, well, it it, it doesn't close tight, you No, know, they know, have a rubber thing around the handle so the door won't close and make a noise. All right, yeah. just, just leave it like that. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> I didn't expect you this noon. I thought you'd come after work tonight. Well, I wasn't getting any work done, so Miss Winter said you might just as well go over to the hospital and see that son of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him? Did you look in the window? Well, I tried, but I couldn't read the names on the chart, you know. I, so I didn't know which baby was mine. Well, I'll have the nurse bring him in. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? Just fine, dear. Well, how are things at home? How's Betsy? Oh, fine. She's all right. She can't wait for you to come home and bring the baby. Oh, I guess she's <laughs> lonesome for me. Yeah, well, I guess we both are. <laughs> Certainly be glad to have you home. Mm. How are things at the office? Oh, all right. I've been passing out cigars. Oh, have you? <laughs> oh, I brought some mail. Oh, fine. Telegrams from the family, a couple of letters. Oh, thanks, dear. Well, that's all right. Go ahead. You, you can read them. No, no. I'll read them when you leave. I'll visit with you while you're here. <laughs> well, sit down, darling. You just stand there twisting your hat. <laughs> yeah, I never know how to act in a hospital. I always feel like a clumsy elephant. Oh, silly. Well, I do. I feel sort of like a stranger. A stranger? Sir, you are the father of my child. Ah. <laughs> you glad it's a boy, honey? Oh, well, I, I knew it was going to be a boy, didn't oh, I? Oh, <laughs> you did. <laughs> well, are you going to give me the box of flowers you have tucked under your arm, or are they for some other woman? Oh, hmm? oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, sweetheart. I tell you, this has been a lot harder on me than it has on you. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> Well, I don't understand it. Didn't they show the baby to you last night? Oh, yeah. They sort of held him up for a minute, but I, I couldn't tell much. Uh -huh. and... Come in. Oh, oh, Miss Gale, would you bring my son in? I'd like to introduce him to his father. Sooner or later, and again and again, every great star of show business finds his way to CBS Radio's Amos and Andy Music Hall. Nightly, Monday through Friday, Freeman Gosden and Charles Correll add new laurels to their entertainment successes. Of course, the main cheese and maker of mischief remains the wily Kingfish, a man with no peers when it comes to converting Andy Brown's cash into his own. A fast buck was never fast enough to stay ahead of Kingfish. And a fast evening session of fun means the Amos and Andy Music Hall on most of these same stations. By no coincidence, but by careful planning, the same definition fits the Robert Q. Lewis show, those same evenings on the same network. We're not taking bows, but just taking time out to be sure you get in on the fun when these great shows lift their curtains here at the Star's Address. Robert Q. and his friends make variety a very popular word, mainly thanks to Robert Q.'s personal way with people and with humor. Listen tonight when CBS Radio serves him up on his fast, popular Robert Q. Lewis show. Goodness, dear, do sit down and stop pacing the floor. I don't understand it. Why should it take so long just to bring the baby? Darling, the nurses are busy. All the babies have to be bathed. I don't know, but don't worry about it. Think there's something wrong with him? No, I do not. Oh, oh come in. Oh, here we are. Oh, well, is, is he all right? Oh, yes. It took so long, my husband was sure something was wrong with the baby. <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm sorry. We had an emergency, and I had to help out. Oh, 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 I see. Well, that's okay. Well, just... here's your boy. <laughs> oh, Oh, look at him. Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, isn't he beautiful? Oh, he certainly is. <laughs> Dear? Yeah, yeah. Well, come on and really look at him. He won't bite. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <laughs> he's... he's <laughs> look, here's your daddy. This is your daddy, darling. Uh, well, well, hello there, son. <laughs> It's your daddy, darling. What's the matter with him? Oh, nothing's the matter. He's just exercising his lungs. Why, sure. Look at your daddy. Here, darling, here. This is daddy, dear. Uh, I think maybe you better take him back out. Yes, yes. Now, there, there, there. You're all right, baby. 
Well, he certainly didn't care much for me. Oh, silly. He's your daddy. You said, and he lets out this yowl. Darling, all babies cry to have to exercise their lungs. Yeah, well, I suppose. Well, aren't you proud of him? Isn't he beautiful? What's the matter? Uh, nothing. No, I'm just trying to figure out who he looks like. Oh, you can't tell yet. New babies all look alike. At least they do to me. <laughs> Yeah, I guess he's got your eyes, anyhow. They look blue. Oh, baby's eyes are blue to begin with. They might turn brown. Oh, I was so pleased when Dr. Renning said, It's a boy, and I knew how thrilled you were going to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure was. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I hope you didn't rush out and buy that electric train. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, but I darn near bought a baseball bat for him today. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you did buy it, you Dickens. <laughs> no, no, but right, you know, it's going to be wonderful when he's old enough to play baseball. And I'll take him on fishing trips, you know, and teach him how to wrestle. And <laughs> my golly, I stayed awake almost all night just thinking about it. Well, I hope for your sake he's the athletic type. Yeah, what other kind would he be? Oh, dear, he might be the scholarly type, interested in science of some kind, reading books constantly. What I mean is I don't think parents should plan too much on what they want a child to be, you know, so, so, so they aren't disappointed. Look, my son is going to be an All-American. <laughs> oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Well, we certainly can't tell that yet. Well, from the looks of his hands, aren't they... Uh, well, what I mean is for a new baby, aren't, aren't they awful, awful big? He's a boy, dear. I know, but Betsy was so delicate and fragile and such a pretty baby. Well, girls generally are. Boys are, you know, larger boned and... Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's it. What's it? Honey, what's the matter? Nothing, nothing, really. Look, you're I, upset uh... about something just because he cried? No, 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 no. Well, then what I, is uh... it? Well, I mean, I mean, I hate to say this about my own child and... I know you think he's beautiful, but... Well, I know he's not as pretty a baby as Betsy was, but with boys, dear, they're often not as attractive when they're born as girl babies are, you know. Not as attractive? My gosh. Look, I think we better face a fact, honey. He... Well, I mean, he's homely. Well, I, I, I will admit Betsy was a prettier baby. It's not that I don't love him, you understand. Don't, don't misunderstand me. I, I'm so excited that we got a boy I can hardly see straight, but I mean... Well, he is homely, isn't he? Well, you can't tell a thing yet, dearie. There. I mean, I, I will admit he's... He, oh, he looks he, like a chimpanzee. Well, what did you expect him to look like, Clark Gable? Well, no, oh, no, but he, he certainly doesn't look like either one of us. I mean, when Mildred and Stanley's son was born, I mean, he looked exactly like Stanley right away. I mean, you just knew that that was Stanley's son. Well, I certainly don't think Billy was a pretty baby. Well, he may not have been a pretty baby, but he looked like Stanley. Look, Stanley has no forehead and no chin, practically, and a big nose, and that's exactly what the baby looked like. I mean, he didn't have a chance, poor kid. But he looked like Stanley. That's what I'm getting well, at. Well, looks aren't everything. I just hope he's healthy. And... Yeah, I know. I know. And me, too. But, I mean, he, he doesn't look like me, and he doesn't look like you. It seems to me that... That, that what? My gosh. What? Maybe that isn't our baby. Of course that's our Look, baby. Look, you, you've read cases where they get babies mixed up in the hospital. They haven't got the babies mixed up here. That is certainly our child. Well, now, stop worrying. What we ought to be talking about is his name. We've got to send out announcements. He certainly doesn't look like anybody in my family. Well, maybe he takes after my family. There's nobody in your family who looks like that. You never saw anybody in my family when they were babies, either. Were there any other babies born here yesterday? Well, yes, huh? yes, that, um, that woman across the hall, uh, Mrs. Gregory. Yeah, what'd she have? Oh, she had a rough time, really. She no, 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 Did she, a boy or a girl? Oh, a boy. But they put little beaded bracelets on the babies the minute they're born. There couldn't possibly be any mistake. Wait a minute, is Mr. Gregory that, that, that funny-looking guy that was sitting in the waiting room with me yesterday? Oh, is I it... don't know, I wasn't in the waiting yeah, well, room I think, I think I'll go out and take a look at their baby. Sit down, I'm go dear, will you sit down? Please look, sit if down. a mistake has been made, now is the time to correct it. When's the doctor coming around again? Well, where, where's your nurse? Sit down, sit down, sit down, please. Look, we can have blood tests taken. Blood tests? Certainly. Now, that's just the wait way... a minute. What are you planning to do? Rush out there and yell you want a blood test taken? Now, just calm down, will you? It's a perfectly natural thing to want to make sure that you have the right baby. We have the right baby. The well, hospital couldn't possibly make a mistake like then... that. No hospital could nowadays. Why not? Why, Why not? Look, you're the one who mentioned it yourself. I remember. You said I... once, what if they get the babies mixed up when I get to the hospital? It was just you... a casual remark. Well... For heaven's sakes, hospitals put a string of beads with a baby's last name on him right away, and then they take handprints, they take footprints... All right, but what take... is the harm in double-checking? What are you going to do, storm out there and get the Gregories all upset, thinking they have our baby and we have theirs? I am not going to... to storm out there at all. I, I, I will very quietly... Will you listen to me for a minute? That baby does not look like any baby picture I have ever seen of anybody in either of our families. Will you listen to me, dear, I for am... just... May I come in? Uh... Oh, 
Hello, Edna. Yes, of course. Dear, you you know Edna Gifford. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Hello. How are you? Fine, just fine. And I can see you both are, too, oh. as you certainly should be with a brand new son. Uh. Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you, you very thanks, much. Edna. <laughs> oh, Edna, the flowers you sent are just beautiful. Thank you very much, and it's so sweet of you to take time to stop in and see me. Well, like I certainly had to see what that son of yours looked like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we were just saying he doesn't seem to look like anybody on either side of the family. Are you kidding? Why, the nurse just held him up for me, and I must say there's no question who his father is. <laughs> Why, what, what do you mean? Why, he's the spitting image of you. He, he is? He is? Well, can't you see it? Oh, well, I guess people never can see these things, but, oh, my goodness, he's a dead ringer for his daddy. Why, I said to the nurse, I have never seen a baby only two days old who looked more like his father. Why, that nose, that chin. <laughs> We'll return to the couple next door in just a moment. It took efficiency engineers years to discover what CBS Radio's daytime listeners have always known. Entertainment makes any day's work go faster. You can speed up your own daily routine and enjoy life more at the same time by listening to our many enjoyable daytime programs on CBS Radio. Two of them, coming your way each weekday on most of these same CBS stations, are The Howard Miller Show and Just Entertainment, starring Pat Buttram. Howard Miller, as you probably know, is an expert on popular music. He keeps you right up to the minute with the brightest new songs. He plays tunes for you that have all the earmarks of becoming hits long before they're discovered elsewhere. Pat Buttram and his gang are experts at the art of relaxation, too. Their songs are always refreshing. Their humor is quiet but funny. So make your work days easier. Join Howard Miller and the Pat Buttram Gang regularly on CBS Radio. Well, goodbye, dear. I, I, I must run. And again, congratulations. Oh, thank you, Edna. And thanks for stopping in to see me. <laughs> goodbye. 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 Bye. Well, you better get back to your office, too, dear. Yeah, well, <laughs> pretty funny, huh? Well, I don't think it's so funny saying your son looks like a chimpanzee. Well, apparently that must be what I look like, too. <laughs> You're a very handsome man. The truth is, dear, I was trying to tell you that he looks exactly like your baby pictures. And your mother told me, she said, now don't worry if it's a boy, because you were the homeliest baby she ever saw. I was? Yes. And look how marvelously you turned out. <laughs> well, I, I didn't think he was homely, you understand. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. I, I, that wasn't very nice. Oh, I didn't mind. I was rather amused, dear. <laughs> And anyhow, I happen to think he is a remarkably intelligent-looking baby. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I did. So. I noticed that. Yes, indeed. You, you, you can tell. And I wouldn't worry about his hands looking big, dear. I wouldn't worry, worry? about that. Worry? Why would I worry? You can see already the kid's got strength and, and character mm -hmm. and you, a good-shaped head. Yes, yes, you, he you does. Notice? Yes, yes, I certainly. To stop and take another look at him on your way yeah, out, Yeah, I honey. will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess Edna's is right at that, you know, just to chip off the old block. <laughs> Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce with Pat Englund, Madeline Pierce, and Beatrice Pons and is produced by Walter Hart. This is Art Hannes inviting you to listen tomorrow to The Couple Next Door.